Headed into week number four, Wayne Witten finally showed Aaron Rodgers that he can win games by throwing in the ball, but I appreciate all the support you guys have been showing on this series, and because you guys did smash the like button on the last episode, there will be three games in this episode as well, so if you want to continue to keep seeing that, make sure to hit that like button right now, but you can see we are at home in this game against the Washington Redskins, so we definitely don't want to be dropping this game. It's a perfect day outside Aaron Rodgers on the year already has seven interceptions so we definitely don't want to be adding to that total today Aaron Rodgers dropping back first pass of the day I thought we just said we didn't want to add to that total but that's exactly what we are going to be doing he throws an interception on the first pass of the day but he's going to find me on the sidelines I'm going to tap the toes get out of bounds at the 42 yard line so we're moving down the field first and 10 Aaron Rodgers is going to find me over the middle I'm going to split two defenders and I'm all the way into the end zone for my first touchdown of the day. It's definitely nice to see Wayne Witten getting into the end zone that early in games. It's definitely not something we did see in the first couple of weeks. But now Aaron Rodgers is finding his number one target once again into the end zone. So we already have two receiving touchdowns on the day. Definitely out here looking like the greatest tight end on the planet. Finally, I sat Aaron Rodgers down. I'm like, look, if you want to win games, you got to throw me the ball. And that's exactly what he's doing as I already have 75 receiving yards on the day. Three minutes to go in the second quarter. We fast forward ahead. Aaron Rodgers is going to throw an absolute dot. I turn on the speed, and that 90 speed is going to be too much for the Washington secondary as I'm scoring my third touchdown of the day. This is exactly what I envisioned when I came to the Green Bay Packers. I was going to come to this team, become the number one target, and absolutely feast and bring this team a championship. But you can see on the day, I have eight receptions, 189 yards, and three touchdowns as we find ourselves in the fourth quarter, up 28-7. to seven. I'm going to get this reception, and that would be it for this game. We would end up winning the game with that same exact 26-7 to score, so definitely nice to get into the win column once again against the Washington Redskins, but we get a quick look at the stats. We had 301 passing yards on the day. That is definitely nice to see, but my day, I had 10 receptions, 196 yards, three touchdowns, and a longest reception of 76 yards, but jumping into the next game, we will be going up against the winless Colts. Yes, you heard me right. The Colts have not won a game yet. They are currently 0-5, so we definitely don't want to be handing them their first victory, even though it's my favorite team. This is Madden career mode, and we've got Wayne Witten out here. We're trying to win championships, so we can't be dropping games. You can't see Aaron Rodgers is going to find me in the red zone all the way down to the four-yard line, picking up the first down, and he would be looking for me once again as I'm going to make this catch. Box out the defender, use that size, and look like Richard Rodgers out there catching the touchdown for my first receiving touchdown in this game. So it's definitely nice to get back there once again as Aaron Rodgers wasn't done yet. I tried to turn up field, but I wasn't able to do that. So we would have to end up on that possession. We would take a field goal. So we are up 17-3 to in the third quarter, and I'm down the sidelines using that 90 speed into the end zone once again. I already have 50 receiving yards on the day. That is definitely nice to see. And that game would pretty much be nothing at all. We would end up winning 27 to three. The Colts didn't put up any fight at all. And there is a reason they're 0 and six at this point in time, but you can see we get 202 passing yards in the game. And we get a quick look at my stats. On the day, I had eight receptions, 82 yards, two touchdowns, and my longest reception on the day was 34 yards so definitely not as much yardage as i like to get but we did get those two touchdowns so that definitely was nice to see but jumping into the last game of this episode you can see we do find ourselves at home once again aaron Rodgers now has 12 touchdowns with 10 interceptions but we will be going against the winless carolina panthers yes you heard me correctly the winless carolina panthers they might be undefeated in real life right now but in this madden season 
They are 0-6, but we are in the red zone. Second down and goal. Aaron Rodgers in the shotgun. And he would throw a pick. Definitely not one you want to see out of your quarterback to start off this game. We would give the ball back to them, but they would not be able to do anything at all. So we're moving down the field. We're going to find Jordy Nelson here. I'm going to give him a chip block. He's going to go out of bounds all the way to the 43-yard line. So we're moving down the field. Finally getting a look at Jordy Nelson. We are taking over his number one spot, but I think he's okay with it. If we will be able to bring home a championship as I'm going to get this catch in traffic over the middle that is going to get us across midfield. Aaron Rodgers wasn't done yet. He's going to find me on the sidelines. I use that speed, but I'm not able to take out that last guy. So we're all the way down to the 15 yard line. I'm pumped. I'm showing we got the first down. Is Aaron Rodgers going to look for his number one red zone target? I'm going to press that A button, tap those toes into the end zone for another touchdown. It seems like the red zone in Wayne Witten has become a commonplace once again, which is definitely nice to see Aaron Rodgers finally looking for his number one target. But you can see Eddie Lacy's going to run this thing in, but we did miss an extra point. So Aaron Rodgers will be going for it on the two-point conversion, and he's going to run this thing in himself. So we do take the 14-7 lead with 5.30 to go. But fast forwarding ahead, Aaron Rodgers is going to find me on a crossing pattern. I'm pointing people out. I'm out of bounds. Definitely having a very good game so far. I have four receptions, 63 yards and one touchdown, but I definitely was not done yet. I'm going towards the sidelines, but Aaron Rodgers misses me. I might have been able to turn that thing into a touchdown, but we go back to the same play. I'm trying to turn it upfield, but I am going to end up stepping out of bounds, so that sets us up with a second down and four. I already have five catches on the day. Third down and 11. Aaron Rodgers tries to find me. He's going to end up throwing an interception. We are up 20-7 to in this game with only three minutes to go, but our defense does give up a touchdown, so we've got to at least try and get a field goal. Second down and five. Aaron Rodgers had two people wide open but he decided to go to the one guy that wasn't. Third down and five. Aaron Rodgers is looking for me on the sidelines. I tapped the toes, but wait a second. I didn't tap the toes. The referee said I was out. You guys need to go back, pause this video, and see what you think, but Cam Newton's going to make a pass to Kelvin Benjamin. He throws it away. They're driving down the field. 45 seconds to go. A touchdown would win it for him. Attended for Kelvin Benjamin. And they end up finding Jonathan Stewart for a nine-yard touchdown. So we would end up losing the game 21-20. to Definitely a very heartbreaking loss. We had that game in the bag. All I had to do was get those feet down. But according to the ref, I wasn't able to do that. But we do get a quick look at my stats on the day. I had six receptions, 70 yards, one touchdown in my longest reception on the day was wait for it wait for it 28 yards but if you guys are enjoying this series and want to see more of it make sure to smash that like button as we get one quick look at the standings the vikings and us are tied at four and two but i'm showing you that because next week we will be taking on the minnesota vikings so definitely a huge game if you guys are excited for that make sure to smash that like button but that's going to be it for this video guys i want to thank you for watching make sure to leave a like on it if you enjoyed it subscribe if you're new to my channel for more madden 16 career mode Go follow me on Twitter, Twitch, and Instagram. The links are all in the description down below. And until next time, guys, have a good one.